Well, hey, 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 I am so excited to tune in today and of course it is the Boss Queen Morning Show, your soul abundance channel, right? So as long as you are tuned into here, you are also tuned into the universe, tapped in and turned on, uh, which is super exciting. So that means that all this energy is just sending you so much good vibes and you can tune in to all things manifestation, mindset, and of course a sprinkle of marketing so that you can create your kingdom according to your own rules because you know, you are no longer valuable than having anything less than having it all and you already know that so happy tuesday so excited to be back actually during morning time it is a glorious 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 seriously glorious day outside um i love australian winters especially on the gold coast i mean there's different parts in australia where it gets cold um but definitely where i live on the gold coast our winters are just delightful i think 25 degrees in celsius in, in fahrenheit it's about i don't know just over 70 72 75 not maybe quite 75, but around that. Anyway, it's beautiful and divine. Now, we're going to have a great conversation today, you know, brief to the point. And the, the, the thought that I want to share with you is this. No matter how hard you work, are you still going round the mountain instead of up? Okay, so I'm going to ask that question again. So tune in and ask yourself that, hey, perhaps you're working really, really, really freaking hard but are you actually going up the mountain? Are you actually seeing the desired results or at least, you know, creating those milestones and feel like you're getting evidence? You know, maybe it's not just physical evidence, but also energetic, mentally, emotionally, like breakdowns, breakthroughs, aha moments, you're shifting, you know, you can feel your vibration shifting, you can feel your mindset shifting, you can see you know, that you're actually helping more people, you're getting more feedback testimonials, you're getting people to work with you, your impact is growing, your influence is growing. Mm. Oh, hang on, I am actually having a conversation. Oh, sorry, someone rang. I am, um, oh my God, that threw me then. <laughs> uh, so your impact is growing, your influence is growing, and your income is growing um, accordingly. Um, am I doing astrology? Not so much. No, I really talk more around energy, vibration, and mindset with a bit of marketing. So no astrology, but definitely soul tune-ups. And if you want to, speaking of cards, you can come in to my Facebook group because usually on a Wednesday night, or at least once a week, I do a free tarot soul card reading. So if that's, you know, of interest to you, then message me and I'll send you the link to my Facebook group, which is called Soul Boss Queens on the Rise. Okay. Now, um, back to the question. The question is, right, tune in and just wondering, you know, are you actually working really hard, but you're not seeing the desired results. And of course, like I'm gonna to say to you, don't just focus on the physical results because the results can come, come in many ways. Um, but beyond that or above that, the, the, I guess the, the question that I want you to really think about as well then, thank you so much, is to tune into the inner work, okay? Because here's the thing, you can be a hustler, whatever you want to call it, a badass, a rebel. I mean, all, I'm definitely a badass. I'm definitely a rebel. I'm definitely not afraid to work hard, but working hard alone is not going to get you to where you want to go. Actually, all contraire, mon ami, okay? It's quite the opposite. If you just focus on working hard, working hard, as they say, working hard for the money, you will find that you're going to hit a limit. You're going to burn out. You're going to get to the point where you feel like, well, if I want to earn more money, I need to earn, I need to work even harder and it gets so exhausting and then you're just going to screw it up and you're going to self-sabotage and you're not going to get to the desired level of impact, you know, influence and income, which I know is inside of you. I know that you're not here to play small. I know you're not here just to like scrape the bottom of the barrel, right? And I know it's an ever growing journey it's an ever evolving you know evolution so you know the evolution is ever growing and unfolding i get that and i'm not saying that you should take it easy and not work you know and i don't know if you want to call it work hard i i eliminate the sentence when people say oh you've done so well and people go oh you're so lucky and i go no actually it's not about lucky i've worked really hard for it and I guess to an extent, I have worked hard for it, but at the, on the other hand, it's not hard work when it's part of, 
your soul's calling. You know, for me, really, I wouldn't do anything else. Like for me, it's like I, I love tuning into becoming the best version of me, knowing that it's my energy, my magnetic pull, being the lighthouse that calls in the right people into my space, the right people, opportunity, resources, thoughts, experiences, for me to live my purpose, for me to stay in alignment, for me to answer my calls, my soul's calling, okay? So obviously I'm kind of giving you already exactly where I'm going with this, is that yes, you can work hard, and there's nothing wrong with a good dose of kick up the butt and doing the do and sit your ass in the chair and get out there. And I believe actually that, you know, really like you can keep it really simple what you need to do every day. You know, really you want to, you want to obviously create content. You want to create content and add value, right? Um, create value and, and content to share value with your soulmate people like I'm doing right now, right? You want to um, share your message. And I, I, communicate, right? So another C word. I love playing with words. So, you know, content, create content, and that is obviously adding value. And I don't care how much and on, on, on what channel, whether you want to speak, whether you want to write, whether you want to do audios, whether you want to, I don't mind, you know, have conversations and have Facebook groups and be visible. I don't mind. It's up to you, but you, you got to create content. You got to add value. You got to give people an opportunity to really you know, connecting, trigger them, get them to think, get them to feel in, get them, propel them to, to make changes. Cause that's what you hear. You're a light worker. You're a change maker. You're here to lead a revolution. Yay. Right. Um, so you want to create that content. You want to communicate communication, right? Share your message every day, share your message every day. And again, no, I don't, um, this is part of my message. Right, me creating content is also me sharing my message because it's just um, a way for me, for me to express what I'm all about, to express my thoughts, to express what I'm here to do. Like I have this biggest thing about not wanting people to settle for mediocrity, like that people play small. Like I don't believe that we're here to live in poverty. I'm not here that we are here to live in mediocrity. I don't believe that we are here to dim our freaking light so that we can please other people and we can make other people feel safe. I don't think so. I believe you're here to shine your light. I believe you're here to, um, you know, to create magic and un uncover that magic, uncover that light and share that light so you can create, you know, changes in the world and together raise that consciousness. I believe that you have a purpose on this planet. You chose this life for a reason to make change on your core, like on your own terms. Whether you want to, you know, impact millions, I don't mind. It's up to you. Thousands, hundreds. I know that you're here with change maker. If you're not a change maker, then obviously you wouldn't be drawn to me. Right, like you're here because you want to create freedom by design, by uh, you know, on, on, on sharing your gifts and innate talents with the world. This is about claiming your inherent power, your infinite potential, and creating your own legacy. Okay, so I get that. So that's you communicating and sharing your message. Um, and then daily, you also want to connect, connect with people. Like, you know, like I connect, I love having conversations with people. I'm running a challenge right now with one of my soul sisters. We have 224 kings and queens who are committed to raising their money game. And every day I am in there and I'm speaking to people and I'm reading every single comment and I'm answering every single comment not just like a thumbs up, well done. No, I, I connect with them. I build relationships with them because I mean, as much as the online world is freaking amazing and I love it. I love the fact that I can jump on a phone. I can use my smartphone. That's why it's called a smartphone, not a dumb phone. I love the fact that I can use that smartphone and I can reach, you know, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people. But at the same time, don't underestimate the power of human connection, human connection. You need to connect with people. And the only way to do that is being authentic, being yourself, not hiding, not compromising, not changing, not adapting. Uh-uh. I believe the only way to do it is by being authentically and unapologetically you. And that takes a lot of balls, but I find that that's so 
worth it and one of the things i stand so proud for that i am who i am the way i talk to you right now is exactly how i talk to my clients is exactly how i talk to my best soul sisters is exactly how i talk you know off camera on camera behind the scenes in front of the scenes whatever that's me i am only me and yes you will get different you will get different flows from me, different, you know, uh, energies depending on what mood I am, but I'm always me, okay? Now that, having said all that, I think, you know, the, the point that we need to make is, I guess that it's about working and it, I guess, you know, you can keep it pretty simple, communicate your message, you know, create content and communicate with your soulmate tribe so that you really just call in those people who resonate with you. And here's the thing, because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, people buy you, okay? So no matter how fancy you package up your business, how fancy your website, how fancy your freaking graphics, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how much you try to say, I don't know, speak a certain way or structure your content a certain way, your sales pages, all of the sort of, sort of stuff or whatever the fancy name you're going to give your programs, all that sort of stuff. All that being said, people buy you. Okay, so people buy you, it's the energy. They're either gonna be drawn in, they're gonna look at me, and they're gonna say, well, do I feel like I'm vibing with her? Do I, you know, am I picking up what she's laying down? Is her energy, is that like, is there a resonance? You know, and so um, obviously you wanna look and see that you can trust me, that you like me, that you, you wanna see that, you know, that I can help you and that you feel like I genuinely care. And I genuinely care. I mean, that's probably one of the biggest things that I started this business because I do genu genuinely care. Um, and so like, it doesn't matter almost like what business you're in, you know, like whether you create your own products and services, whether you're a speaker, of an author, a writer, whether you're network marketing, online marketing, affiliate marketing, I don't mind if you're a healer, a practitioner, a coach, a mentor, a fitness professional, graphic designer, it doesn't matter because people buy you, right? And the way that you, promote yourself and put yourself out there it's just your vehicle so use your business as a vehicle use your products as a vehicle but people buy you and so with that in mind i can get to the part that i really want to share with you and that is if people buy you people buy your energy are you giving yourself the gift to work on you enough every day and that is such a i know such a simple thought but so, so important because I feel that you can work so, so freaking hard, but it feels like yet you're still just going around, around the mountain and not up the mountain because you're forgetting the most important thing. And the most important thing is this, your heart, your soul, alignment, your energy. Okay. Like that is the absolute like foundation of your success. 80% energy, 20% strategy. Okay, 80% getting in alignment, 80% tuning in, making sure you're feeling in alignment, making sure that you know, you're, you're digging into um, what are you resisting, what are you fearing, what are your blocks around money, around success, your self-worth and just owning that success is your birthright. You know, what, are your, what is the thing that you're resisting? Because the thing is, there is a thing called instant manifestation. So if you're not manifesting the things that you desire, that means you're blocking them, you're resisting them. Why are you doing that? Because there's a story, because there's stuff inside of you. There's blockages, energetic holdups, there may be past stuff, depending on how spiritual you wanna go, but I'm I mean, especially mindset, there's like a movie that you're running, that you've been running ever since you're like you're a little child and you need to change that movie. And so that's what I'm saying. You can work so hard. You can do the right thing. You can tick off all the things. And I'm not saying you're not going to get anywhere, but I'm finding that it's going to be a very a struggle if you're not taking care of the heart, of the soul, of the mindset, making sure that everything is in alignment, mind, body, soul, because guess what? You're made out of five bodies, not just the physical body. So it's not just about the doing. Right? You also are spiritual, energetic, mentally, and emotional. Right, So there's the, all these different parts. And so my gift to you, my reminder to you today is put that all into context and just ask yourself, are you too busy working in your business, doing, 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 not giving yourself enough time to be, to be, to be, to connect, to lean in, right? Uh, to tune in and really removing anything that is vibrationally blocking you 
from thoughts, beliefs, emotions, stories, soul contracts, all that sort of stuff, okay, trauma, because really, you're gonna make things so much more easy for you. You're gonna give yourself an absolute blessing when you learn to receive with more ease and grace, when you understand that there's nothing you ever have to do to prove yourself, that you are worthy, that you are whole, that you're already wealthy as fuck, okay? That you literally are a child of the universe, a child of Mother Earth, a child of God, and this infinite abundance is flowing through you and you can be accessible to it at any given time. You get to choose how you feel, you get to choose how you show up, you get to choose what you let in and what you, you know, block off. But that means that you need to make that time. And so with all of that having said or being said and done, make sure that you take that time and I don't care how busy you are. I don't care what circumstances you're in. I simply don't care. I know that you're over to yourself to give yourself the gift to tune in every single day and to, to do the do so that your, your vibration can lift, you know, to new levels and beyond. Um, and that's it from my end. And of course, if this is the conversation that you love to continue, make sure you hang out in our or in my Facebook group, Soul Boss Queens on the Rise. Okay, you can message me for the link if you're not in there already. Of course, the kings, the kings who resonate with the energy, you're more than welcome to join as well. Um, and the money challenge is now in full swing. It's a 21 challenge, but you can put your name down. Um, come on the waiting list for the next one when that starts next month again absolutely by all means it's a money mindset and manifestation makeover challenge um, and if there's anything else I can help you with if you you like that conversation and you're like you know what you're right but I'm stuck I'm stuck on that next level mindset I'm stuck on that next level receiving I'm stuck on really owning my worth you know I'm really stuck on embodying that success is my birthright and I just want things to be easier to let money abundance you know impact influence all that sort of stuff flow to me more easily then send me a message and let's have a conversation because I'd be more than delighted you know to invite you into that space because that is my jam and um, that's pretty much it for today so thank you thank you thank you for hanging out and letting me share my um today's content remember this is the boss queen morning show your soul abundance channel and of course permission to be do and have it all granted